I'm so sorry. Why do I have another gelatin? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is that time of the year again and it is the beginning of October. And this year I'm going to try my best to dedicate the entire October to Halloween themed videos. So as some of you may have already noticed, I'm actually wearing a Harry Potter robe for today's video because I would actually like to dedicate this video to every Harry Potter actor who has passed away, who has made so much effort into making their characters come alive because without them there would not be a very very good Harry Potter series. That's why I wanted to do my very first Halloween video of 2024 in the theme of Harry Potter. Anyways, we're actually going to kick off the month with a fun little video where I'm going to be using this unofficial Harry Potter cookbook that one of my sisters have gifted me either last year or the year before. I think it might be last year. I don't really remember, but I have chosen three recipes out of here. One soup, one entree, and one dessert. And I will be cooking, and my sisters and my mom are going to be judging my cooking today. So I'm a little nervous because I'm not a really good cook. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first recipe I'm actually gonna start with is a chocolate pudding. And basically this one came from chapter four, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And what I need is half a cup of granulated sugar, one fourth cup cornstarch, two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. I'm gonna use cacao powder because Honestly, I think they're the same thing. Um, two and a half cups of whole milk, one cup heavy cream, and I forgot to get heavy cream. Oh my god, okay. I went shopping yesterday with the photos of these to make sure that I didn't get any like wrong or missing ingredients, and I have one missing ingredient! Okay, anyways. Six ounces of bittersweet chocolate melted, one fourth stick or two tablespoons of butter, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, which I'm using imitation because that's all we have at home. Okay, so let me begin. Okay, we're gonna do it without heavy cream because I forgot the heavy cream, but hopefully that's not gonna be too much of a problem. I don't know, I'll figure it out. So it says sugar, cornstarch, cocoa powder. With the sugar, I'm just gonna wing it. Two tablespoons, how much is that? And I'm using cacao powder which means I'm not following the recipe. I don't know how many two tablespoons are, but this is my style of cooking. There you go. Whisk until combined, add the milk and cream and stir to combine. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna skip out on the straining part. So far with everything that I've cooked with a recipe that I have changed, my mom says taste good, so. But again, she's my mom. Okay, so the next thing I'm preparing is going to be a roast pheasant or chicken in my case. I don't really know what a pheasant is. It might be a chicken. I don't really know. So here's my chicken slash pheasant. So I have to prepare one onion, two celery, ribs cut into chunks. I'm actually going to stuff the little pieces in there. It doesn't tell me to do that, but I think it would be a good idea. So. Going in the oven for 45 minutes. Now the final item I'm going to be making today is Creature's French Onion Soup, and this one's from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Chapter 12. For the sake of time, I have already prepared everything and I'm just gonna show you. Okay guys, so I've just finished cutting my onions and my eyes are like watering, but now I'm gonna actually start making the soup. I'm gonna do lots of these. This is looking good. Okay, so I am finished cooking the meals and my judges are now just very happily waiting for the meals. So what we have is, the first thing is a soup. Um, I forgot what it's called, fudge. The chef doesn't know what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, it's onion soup and I'm actually gonna do this because it's supposed to be like this. We're just missing the cheese because the cheese is guacay. Please have a taste test for <laughs> the soup. Yummy. <laughs> Yum. 
Say from Sola, please. Wait, I can't stop eating your food. Bread yet. Someone said, wait, I didn't eat the bread yet. The other person says, I can't stop eating, wait, hold on. And the other is just silently eating. <laughs> That's a good sign. Can I, I mean, can I look at the ratings? I already rate mine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fine. so smart. You so wrote it like this. So oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I want to be right, Mike, because it looks ugly. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, there's more croutons if you need more croutons. Oh, I'm Ready? One, two, two three. three. Yeah. Oh my god, 9.59 <laughs> out of 10. Mm -hmm. Yo, okay, so Angie gave a 9.5. I usually don't like onions, but this was really good. Allie gave a 9. I think. One of these other items will be a 10. Okay. I hope I won't disappoint. Ho ho mate. Ho ho say. Mom? Mom gave me a full <laughs> point. Oh my god. She gave me a full point. Okay, this is very, very high. All right. <laughs> okay, this next one is called the roast pheasant. And we don't have pheasant, so I replaced it with a small baby chicken. Ooh, I want to eat one piece. Tell me why I kind of want to oh, eat the veggies. Oh, I'm going to eat it. This one. Mm. That's good. Oh! Mm. Oh, juicy. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of my work so far. Hi, Gu. Hmm. Hi, Gu. Ready? One, two, three. 9.5, 9.8, and 8. Point. Really? I thought it was gonna be a 10, 10, 10. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, dang oh. it. <laughs> oh, dang it. I thought it was really good. The only thing that you could put that took the 0 0.5 away was that there wasn't enough jup on it, you know? Ah, like the soupy. okay. I like the chicken, it's very juicy. I'm just a harsh grater. Okay. Oh, got that. Mmm, the whole Okay, I accept that. <laughs> I accept that because I think I didn't season it enough. That's true. Okay, so I am super nervous for this last one. It's supposed to be the dessert. And it's supposed to be chocolate pudding, except I had two missing ingredients. Wow. I was gonna say. Why do we why do we have to eat it with a spoon? Because it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Oh my gosh. I put a little more than I'm supposed to. I'm so sorry. Why do I have another gelatin? I baited the fun already. Already? I'm drinking it at this point. Oh, just drink it. It's okay. I'm just giving you the full experience with the spoon. <laughs> 100? A 7.8 and a 9? Okay, actually not that bad. I Why 100? Do, I do like, I do like the dark, the dark chocolate is dark chocolate, right? Yes. The dark chocolate, I do like sweets mm -hmm. and it tastes pretty good even though it's supposed to be a pudding. I kind of just forgot about that, but it tastes really good. Allie, the harsh grater. <laughs> uh. I like it, but I know it's going to taste 10 times better if it was actually like a pudding. And I had a random chunk in mine and I have no idea what that was. Gelatin. <laughs> Oh that's my why, gosh. Yeah, that's why I was kind of laughing. <laughs> because I'm like, I know it's gelatin. Sorry. Oh yeah, <laughs> this makes sense then. Ew, I just had a whole bite of gelatin. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm, so I ho ho say. Yay! That's the final thing. I'm gonna get my final score and I low-key hope that it's going mm, to be good. Sento. Yeah. And then it will finally be my turn. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. I have... Oh my god. Okay, this is actually really, really high. I have a 9.8 from Angie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A 9 from Harsh Grader Alley. And a 9.5 from my, my mother. Okay, so this is basically their meal experience from harry potter and it seems like i did a pretty good job for someone who cannot really follow recipes and for someone who forgets ingredients replaces ingredients and kind of just wings everything as i cook yay, yay. so this is the end of today's video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out ali's channel the link will be in the description box <coughs> 
The link will be in the description box down below. And hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!